When it comes to diesel engines, there is one common component that causes more headaches than almost any other part, the EGR valve. In this video, I am going to show you the five most common symptoms of a bad EGR valve that every diesel owner needs to know without wasting any more time. Let's get started. Symptom number one, rough idle and engine stalling. The first and most noticeable symptom is a rough idle. If your car feels like it's shaking or vibrating while sitting at a red light, your EGR valve might be stuck open. When this happens, too much exhaust gas gets recirculated back into the engine, which dilutes the air-fuel mixture and makes your engine struggle to maintain a steady idle. You might also experience sudden stalling, especially when coming to a stop. This is particularly dangerous in traffic situations, so don't ignore this warning sign. Symptom number two, loss of power and poor acceleration. The second major symptom is a noticeable loss of power, especially when you're trying to accelerate or climb hills. Your diesel engine will feel sluggish and unresponsive, like it's struggling to breathe. This happens because a malfunctioning EGR valve disrupts the precise air-fuel mixture your diesel engine needs for optimal combustion. Whether it's stuck open, allowing too much exhaust gas to recirculate, or stuck closed, preventing proper flow regulation, your engine's performance will suffer significantly. You'll notice this most when merging onto highways, overtaking other vehicles, or hauling heavy loads. What used to be smooth acceleration now feels labored and weak. Symptom number two, poor fuel economy. Nobody likes watching their hard-earned money disappear at the fuel pump. A failing EGR valve can significantly impact your fuel efficiency. Whether it's stuck open or closed, your engine has to work harder to maintain proper performance. When stuck open, your engine struggles with the diluted air fuel mixture, requiring more fuel to generate the same power. When stuck closed, the increased combustion temperature forces your engine to adjust timing and fuel delivery, again, reducing efficiency. If you've noticed your trips to the gas station becoming more frequent without any change in your driving habits, your EGR valve could be the culprit. Symptom number three, check engine light and error codes. Modern cars are smart and they're constantly monitoring the EGR system. When something goes wrong, you'll typically see that dreaded check engine light. The most common error codes related to EGR problems are P0400 through P0409. These codes specifically point to EGR flow issues, whether it's insufficient flow, excessive flow, or complete system failure. Don't ignore that check engine light. While it might seem like your car is running fine, the underlying problem is likely getting worse and could lead to more expensive repairs down the road. Symptom number four, failed emissions test. If you live in an area that requires emissions testing, a bad EGR valve will almost certainly cause you to fail. The EGR system's primary job is to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions. So when it's not working properly, your car will produce higher levels of harmful pollutants. This is particularly frustrating because you won't be able to register your vehicle until the problem is fixed. What starts as a simple EGR valve replacement can quickly become a costly ordeal. What causes EGR valve failure? Now that you know the symptoms, let's quickly cover what causes these failures. The most common culprit is carbon buildup. Over time, carbon deposits from exhaust gases accumulate on the valve, preventing it from opening and closing properly. Poor maintenance, using low-quality fuel, and infrequent oil changes can accelerate this buildup. In some cases, the valve's electronic components can fail, or vacuum lines connected to the system can develop leaks. There you have it. The five common symptoms of a bad exhaust gas recirculation, EGR. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.